Hey, what's happening gamers? It's Kwing here, providing yet another informative video guide, walkthrough, whatever, for Batman Arkham Asylum. A blast from the past for the PS3, 360, and PC. If you like what you see, then by all means, please rate this video, comment, and subscribe. Though if you like Batman, rate this video anyway. Don't let the Joker win. Well, on to the episode already in progress. And we're back, gamers. Time to bring down the house. The wall. Whatever. Ivy's getting stronger. I need to stop her now. I think she's still in the gardens where you left her, but she'll be in control of it now. You'll be walking into a trap. That's what she thinks. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, that's right. It's never a trap when it comes to bed. Batman's always prepared. He's like Boy Scout. Oh no, wait, that's Superman. Wow, I totally should have been seen. That's okay. This island belongs to me now. Um, Creepy. Which one of you? <laughs> Who am I talking to? <laughs> How many of there are you in there? What form of being is this? I want to speak to Dana. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we is no go. Dana, only Z. We need to go back and hear what uh, Joker has to say. Remember these? Little um, visitor oh, center things. Friendly visitor center. Really creepy. For one. your convenience. Oh yeah, the sessions. I once went to a psychiatrist. Doc, I said, every time I get into bed, I think there's somebody under it. I get under the bed. I think there's somebody on top of it. I was going crazy. So I cured myself. I cut the legs off my bed. And then the doctor. <laughs> Slept fine ever since. So wow. mean. Wow. He's not a nice guy, huh? <laughs> More than mean. Hey, that was rude. I mean, that was... Uh, ugh, that was sick. Did the eggs? Okay. <laughs> okay. That doesn't make any sense. What madness is this? Oh wait, it never makes sense with a Joker. Nope. Except to him. No, it doesn't even make sense to him. I'm killing your plants, Ivy. Seem to care actually. I know, she's so heartless. She forgot about her cute little uh, plants. Edible arrangements? Yeah. Her edible friends. Her <laughs> penis bite, bite trap thing. Huzzah! Is he gonna call me a loser again? That would be so mean. If he does, I think Batman's gonna cry. What are you thinking of me, Batman? Stuff. I'm everywhere. My babies know your every move. Well, then why are they letting you and your kind are arrogant enough to think you can destroy us. Us? You will fail. And we... We will become the most powerful force on the planet. Now that's he, man. That's right. You he man has the power, Batman, not you. For her babies. Oh, you, you pay for being... Stop going on about those plants of hers. When I finish with Batman, I'll be coming after you, Joe. 
Women for you. Come and find me when you're done with that Oh, oh he's dead. <laughs> no. I have to say, every time someone's given me experimental toxins, I've never been grateful for them. How can they say the guy over there is unconscious when he was shot? Oh, he's just sleeping. It's rude to keep a girl waiting. Oh. Wait, now you could be Batman's friend? I'm so confused. Alright, first I get shot, then I get electrocuted. <laughs> yeah. Out of the frying pan into the fire. It's like you jump away from the bullet into a stream of electricity. Skadoosh. Yeah. Batman could just never catch a break. Nope. It's not easy being bad. Take patient interview 20. Joker is more interesting than I originally believed. When Project Titan is operational, I believe Joker will be the perfect test subject. Good afternoon. Today I thought I'd skip back to our previous conversations about your family. Of course. I was born in a small fishing village. I always wanted to join the circus, but my father wouldn't really let me. I don't believe you. My father was a cop. One week from retirement, my father. It's so weird that you never really know what the real story is, why Joker went that crazy. It's because there's so many different... They even joked about that in the animated series, because he has so many different origins and things that have happened to him since his creation that yeah. nobody, all the artists and um, writers, they keep reinventing him. I like to go with the one where he is a thug that got dropped into acid by Batman doing... Oh, you mean the killing joke? Um, I One guess so. One bad day. Yeah, I mean, wasn't that in the Keaton Batman too? Though he got kind of acid, yeah. A little bit different. So you're here at last. Do you like what I've done with the place? My baby. Which one of you? Come and see. She's talking through the plants. It's something oh. she could do in the nineties. Oh, that's freaky. My Actually, kind of is. Stood in front of me. Years of therapy have deemed him sane. I was proud to see him walk free. Stop! In exchange for his liberty, the state required only a signature. He talked about wanting to walk in a park. How he longed to feel fresh air on his face. And then he took my father's fountain pen and killed. Every plan you kill Batman just makes me angry. Ooh, we're so scared. But I had none. I watched as guards beat him to a stain on the floor. Okay. Such rich food for my babies. Ah! Whoa, what just... How did I get up there? I don't know. Batman defied the laws of physics. Awesome. But anyway, here's a good time to chat about Miss Pamela. Which, uh, we'll get on her picture so that... There she is. Alrighty, here's a quick background on Pamela Isley. She was introduced in Batman 181 in 1966. Her original name was Dr. Lillian Rose, and she was based in Seattle. Basically, her boyfriend tries to kill her with toxins. She becomes immune to the poisoning and ends up becoming a super criminal, which makes perfect sense. If that happened to me, I think I'd want to be a super criminal, too. No, I'd probably just thank my lucky stars I'm alive. Anyway, she mostly replaced uh, Catwoman in the Batman and DC Comics during the end of the Silver Age, because as we know, Catwoman wasn't around for some reason or another, probably due to censorship of women or something. I don't know. 
Are you ready for me? Do you think you can handle me? I'm waiting in here. Come to me. So she became the female presence in the 60s and 70s, etc. In 1988, along with other heroes and villains, she had her theme completely redone, uh, though she still ends up getting seduced by her boyfriend and almost killed by poison. Of course, the guy who tries to kill her is Dr. Jason, who actually became uh, a supervillain like Poison Ivy. He was Plant Master. What's keeping you, Batman? No one can resist Poison Ivy. Jason also appears in the Batman and Robin movie along with Ivy, but she kills him with a kiss. Ivy also, due to her transformation in the 80s, she suffers from the bipolar disorder, which Paul Dini would later use in the animated series. I've got myself a little security, Batman. They'll just die if anything happens to me. Now, that Ivy is an eco-terrorist, think like uh, Greenpeace or Ra's al Ghul. She also later becomes a common thief, but usually just steals chemicals and fashion stuff. She also suffers from bipolar and some other mental illnesses. In her first appearance, she tried to kill Harvey Dent after seducing him for building a Blackgate prison over her flower field, which had endangered flowers. A bunch of stuff happens to her, of course, she gets thwarted by the Batman, and she ends up talking to a rose she then dubs Baby throughout the animated series. She has a deadly attraction to Batman and becomes BFFs with Harley Quinn and lives in a toxic waste dump, believe it or not. Her last appearance in the 90s series is I believe she left her life of crime to get married to her therapist from Arkham. They fell in love, but Ivy couldn't have children because it's a curse of her mutation or something like that. Anyway, Robin told Batman that Ivy and Dr. Steven's kids are really girls and not boys, so they race and stop Ivy from her crazy plot, and then she leaves Gotham until the new adventures where she's back to her old stealing ways. Basically, in the comics too, what's interesting about her in the 90s is she gains green skin and the ability to gain control over plants and other vegetation. But I really don't remember how this happens, or if it was some kind of accident or whatever, but she does fall in love with Bruce Wayne, they have a fling for a little bit, and she also develops some feelings for Clayface, I think. Eventually, she becomes an anti-hero after the battle for the cowl and joins the new Birds of Prey. And that's basically all there is about Pammy that, that I know of. I, I'm not really well-versed in her character that much. Hey, good job. Yeah. Yes, we know her so well that we call her Pammy. Well, that's what they called her in uh, Harley called her. Oh. I won't let you destroy it, Batman. I told you to go to your cell. I was a fool. I thought the plants were in pain. Now I realize they were evolving, growing stronger. She's really dedicated to those plants. She's gonna like spend her life inside a plant. Okay. Now the object of this is that you're supposed to hit her when she becomes vulnerable when that little barrier thing disappears. The easiest way to do that is when they start shooting you. See? It's like her little plant cockpit there. It's like she's in a like little plant ship or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hurts, don't it? Uh oh. Ah, da, 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 da. Not loving that. Yes, Ivy, Batman's gonna hurt you just like you hurt his feelings. And you said mean things about him. This whole game. It's on. Actually, she was nicer than the other one. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> At least she didn't call him a loser. Hmm. 
is tricky. It's pretty annoying. Can't really do anything until she shoots at me. Oh. <laughs> I guess she's growing on me. Yeah. Leave me alone, Ivy. <laughs> Make like a tree and... <laughs> What's happening now? That's right, the guy holding the battering is... Watching this reminds me to like prune, like you know, prune the hedges. Make sure your plants don't get out of control. <laughs> Apparently, this is what happens when you don't prune or weed in the summer. Stop. Oh, she's worried about the plant. Hee <laughs> hee. So misguided. I need help here, boys. Wasn't that funny? Whoa. Gotcha. Ow. <laughs> it's it. like in the middle of laughing. Ha ha ha. Ow. It's a suit, Ivy. Just FYI. He's not a real bad. Am I? <laughs> Just if you didn't know. Uh, and by the way, Ivy, you are not a plant. You're a person. Just, Just throwing it out there. Just if you didn't get the memo. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Ivy's actually shorter than Batman, so it's kind of weird that she calls him Little Man. <laughs> Little Man is a nickname for Wolverine. Uh-oh. Oh, really? I'm in big trouble. <laughs> I'm actually gonna die fighting Ivy. That's a first. No. I know, right? Hit him again. It's like I have spider sense. Uh oh. And I gotta be done this time. Oh. Oh. It's so convenient, her like plant. Like droid people have like uniforms on and everything. No, they're not. They're oh, okay. They're I humans they were. that have spores. Oh. Okay. Oh, she died and I died. Oh man. You're dead and buried, darling. I 
Oh, the second phase. That's not so bad. Mother Nature, you're some creepy green skin lady. Yeah. She's pretty delusional. Most villain villains have their delusions of grandeur. Yeah. Wee! Like, first she thinks she's a plant, now she thinks she's Mother Nature. <laughs> then she thinks her jokes are funny and she laughs. <laughs> I think I've heard her tell the joke yet. Oh, she's laughing at something, apparently. I don't know. Oh, come on. I was nowhere there. Batman punches the air. The plants could like shoot fireballs. Learn something new every day. <laughs> That's right. It's like it's part of the new plant defense program. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, all right, kids, you can all tell your teachers when you get to school. Hey, I learned from the K wings that plants shoot fireballs. They'll be like, uh huh. F. <laughs> But it's in the video game, so it must be true. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the same as TV and the internet. Not everything you see is true. In the media. Come on, Ivy! Come the grass, then come the thorns. Good to know. Have fun. It's like those thorns come up and like stab through the guys that are like. She's hired. She's not. She taking... hasn't hired him. Oh. She seduced him. Ugh. She doesn't have to uh, pay them anything. Like, I'm not cleaning that up. <laughs> He's like, I didn't do it. Clean up an aisle. All of the aisles. <laughs> well, this cake looks even more ripped than before. Realistic, like they even have like the after, like little, you know, like after the fireworks, there's those little black dots from the smoke. It's pretty cool. They did a good job with this. Oh, definitely. Well, gamers, with the fireworks going, that's going to conclude this episode. Join us for the finale of Batman Arkham Asylum next time. Until then, have a great rest of your night. And again, don't forget to check out our Wii U coverage that's going on still. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. Have a good night. See ya.